everyone welcome back to engineers tech hub channel so in this video guys i will share tcs interview question for automation test engineer requirement is three more than three year in automation more than like uh, eight year or ten year also like if you have a total experience so mostly company uh, they are looking for uh, more than three or four year of experience yeah some of the company also having the fresher and less uh, experience candidate as well but as experience uh, mostly requirement is more than three year okay or if you have a three year uh, uh, experience in automation that is also fine okay so next move uh, you know in the first question so first question is tell me about yourself so if you are following my series you could see the first question is always tell me about yourself okay so now i am moving in the next question so what is the overriding and overloading please write a piece of the code and explain so they are asking the concept of overloading and overriding and they are asking to write a code as well okay so java is very important i always highlight this thing if you are weak in the java so if you want you can purchase my uh, online course or you can watch a uh, tutorial i am still working on a uh, java tutorial so you can follow my java tutorial that is also very helpful for you guys so next question is what is the difference between abstract class and interface okay guys uh, the topics in java you have to prepare up concept and collection a string exception handling like uh, interface abstract class so these are the very important topic you have to learn anyhow okay so next question is write a selenium code how to handle sub menu from hamburger button so if you don't know what is hamburger button just you can search on google so if you will click uh, on that so we will get some menu okay so that is what you have to handle just uh, i will also try to attach the screenshot but let's see but if you are not just you can check once in uh, google image how the hamburger pattern it is okay if you don't know so next question they have asked what are the exception that you know in selenium and define the real time uh, example with which situation does the exception occurs so simply they are going to ask what types of the exception you have faced in your current project and while uh, in this scenario and what types of the exception uh, you have faced that is the question actually so i can list out few question but you guys can prepare at least uh, sorry few exception but you guys at least prepare a uh, 10 uh, 10 to 15 exception with proper notes so this is very frequent ask question okay many times they have asked uh, this type of the question okay the first exception is no such element exception then we have a timeout exception a still element reference exception why we get the no such element exception so no such element occurs when element is not found in the dom okay then we will get no such element exception okay so timeout exception so when uh, we are using uh, that beta statement right normal bit right like implicit weight so timeout exception occurs when command takes longer than timeout value to complete then you will get timeout exception then a still element reference occurs when a reference element is no longer attached to the dom then you will get a still element still element uh, reference exception okay so next question guys they have asked what uh, write a program to read and write the data from the excel so if you know apache poi so by using the apache poi we can handle uh, excel uh, sorry excel uh, read and write activity if you are following my uh, youtube channel so you will get uh, this video this code i means i already made on that 
if you're not able to find just google it okay so next question is write a code to for the palindrome okay so they have asked to write the code for the palindrome this is these all the program guys the most frequent question if you are following my series if you will go in any other video also you will get this question uh, many times over there another question is write a program to find the duplicates element in array okay so i think uh, they have asked you coding as well so you have to also work the uh, work on the coding skill as well the coding skill is very important if you're not able to write the code definitely they will reject you guys okay so coding is very important so again you can ask the question where i can explore java coding so we have a java concept of today okay so you can go for the logical programming interview question we will get around 100 more than 100 interview questions for the java coding and those question is repeated okay so we will improve from there okay that's it in this video guys if you are new in the channel please subscribe and press bell icon to get more video notification so in the next video, bye-bye.